All right, we've gone through all the sales and the coupons and I picked out all the best deals over at Harbor Freight this April. Let's jump into it. First, I have to say uh, that they have extended the Spring Black Friday sale. Yeah, they had a heck of a deal. Harbor Freight really knocked it out of the park this year. I think better deals than anybody else was doing. So they've extended all those deals until, I think until Sunday, basically. So make sure you look at the dates because some of these are repeats, not a lot, but there's a few of them in there that I just had to include because they're, they're just such great deals. All right, so let's jump into the rest of the deals. Now, of course, we have to talk about the, the BOGO deal. So we got the buy a battery and a charger, get a tool free. This is in the Bauer line, okay? So you're getting the five amp hour battery, you're getting the three amp charger, and then your choice of one of these tools here. And the tools we got is, uh, we got the, uh, the the grease gun, which I think is a fantastic choice. The, the Cirque saw, which is decent. Actually, this is the new brushless Cirque saw. Uh, that's even better. We got the recip saw, the chainsaw, br I'm sorry, brushless recip. We've got the, uh, the brushless cordless three eighths the grinder, the blower, the, the trimmer. I actually use that trimmer around the house. It's a decent little trimmer. The belt sander, the, uh, the, the variable speed rotary tool, and we've got the stapler and the pole saw. I, got, I can tell you, the pole saw we use all the time. We get a lot of trees. We, get, we got these uh, box elders. They grow like weeds, constantly pruning those suckers back. I will say this about the impact. Now that's not their high their high torque impact. Their new high torque impact is fantab fantabulous. There's a word for you. <laughs> Fantastic and fabulous all at the same time. Anyway, uh, actually I think I got it right here. Here we go. This is let me change that. This is it. This is their their new uh, we call it a mid mid torque kind of thing. It is compact. It's way smaller than the older full size one. Has about as much power as the older full size one. This is a great little tool. Looks a lot like the Hercules, doesn't it? Hmm. Wonder why. Uh, anyway, and it's it's got the little smart speed buttons down there. You can go through that as well. Uh, this is the five amp hour battery that you get with it. As you see, this is a nice compact tool. Great for getting in there doing stuff. Like I did a brake job with the uh, the old one, and it was big and it was terrible getting in there this would have been so much better unfortunately it came out with it just after i finished that <laughs> anyway great tool can't recommend it enough uh i think that would be a, a solid choice although there might be like the, there's some you know some more pricier tools you can get more bang for the buck if you go with those anyway let's jump through the rest of them because we have the same thing over at hercules hercules you're getting the five amp hour battery and the four amp hour charger for a hundred dollars and then you get your one free tool the the uh, brushless drill driver remember get this when you buy uh, hercules all the brushless stuff is a five-year warranty, okay? Five years. And the batteries, whether they're brushless or not, three years. So if you, even if you buy a brush tool and a battery, you may be only getting the 90-day on the brush tool, but you're still getting the three years on the battery, also three years on the charger. Although I would recommend if you're gonna go with the Hercules line, step up to the brushless stuff, because if you're not gonna get that, then maybe save money and buy the brushless uh, uh, Bauer, because I gotta tell you, the, the brushless Bauer, this thing, this thing's an absolute, actually not that one. This is the one I meant to show you. This one is, this impact driver, an absolute beast. You know, I've got a ton. You've seen the channel. I've got a ton of impact drivers. I have no problem grabbing this one to do stuff with. It, it, it works great. It's got a ton of power. And for the price, it's ridiculous. All right, anyway, let's get back into these. So what we got here is we've got the uh, the hammer drill there, brushless, cordless hammer drill. We've got the, the grinder, of course, that's also brushless. The brushless recip saw, the brushless impact. That thing is, that's stellar. It's, you know, go over Torque Test Channel, check out their ratings. I think it's still rated number one on their list. The dual charger, the router, uh, the sander, I would not get the sander. I mean, the sander, it's not a bad sander. It's a brushless sander at the very least, but there's so much more you could get, more bang for the buck. You get the Hercules, see, it looks familiar, huh? The uh, the, the the impact, that's again, their, their mid impact. And then the rotary, uh, not rotary, but brushless variable speed rotor, I guess rotary polishing tool. A lot of great choices there. Uh, I do have to say though, I probably go for something uh, like the, uh, the grinder or the recip saw. Uh, maybe even the hammer drill, just getting the most, the most value for the money out of this, all right? Uh, let's keep going here. They're now doing it with Atlas also, but you just get the battery here. Buy the, buy the battery and you can jump into the Atlas line here. The Atlas line is fantastic and I, and I don't give them a lot of credit for how it is, how good it is. They're great tools. 
there's nothing bad with the Atlas line. They're a very high-end kind of outdoor power equipment. My issue with them is the pricing once you buy a battery, because everything's a la carte. So you buy the battery, buy the tool, buy the charger. That point it gets kind of pricing. We, you know, there's a lot of great deals, combo kits and stuff. And I realize combo kits aren't always perfect. I'm the first one who said it. You can, I've got years worth of videos talking about it. But when it comes to these, usually, I mean, Ego's doing mowers for 500 bucks with a free battery and such. Mm, anyway, but if you're already in the Atlas line and looking to to uh, to grow that line, this is a great way to do it. All right, let's talk about gas cans. All right, I'll be honest. I'm I'm a, I admit it. I'm a I'm a fanboy of the was it the sure can or whatever the one where the the nozzle goes down, and you know they're not selling those here. But if you need to pick up a quick gas can, there is one option here that makes this kind of cool and maybe even easier than the sure can, and that is the fact that you're getting a free pump with it. So forget the stupid government controlled nozzles. Take that sucker off of there, and just use the free transfer pump. Then nothing could be easier, really. That's uh, it, now. Is it the highest quality pump? No. And uh, I think the guys over at, was it Dan or Tools in Action was showing one where uh, they were pumping and uh, it was leaking. Uh, that's the thing. This is that's part of the what we call the old school Harbor Freight selection, where it was just inexpensive kind of stuff, and you get it home and you had a like one in five chance of it just being bad or leaking or something else. Not just this tool, there were a bunch of other tools around Harbor Freight. It's kind of why this channel started was to help you find the diamond in the roughs. So we've been covering Harbor, Harbor Freight now for eight years. I think we know something about the products over there. Anyway, this is the thing, if you get it, take it home, try it, you know, run some water through it or something, you don't have to run gas through it. Run some water, make sure it's good. If, if, as long as it's good, It'll probably last. If it's got a leak or something, see if you can tighten up. If not, then take it back and exchange it out. All right. That's the way you have to work with those 90 day warranties. That said, you know, you're looking at how much here you're getting for $18. You can get yourself a good size gas, five gallon gas can there. Uh, and the transfer pump. Ooh, jerry can. Uh, that'd be nice. Get the jerry can there. Uh, starting at starting at $18. So you had to work your way up, but still. Anyway, let's keep going. Air compressors. Uh, and you get a free air tool. This one's been going on for a while. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but 150, starting at $159. Again, you buy the air compressor you want. Uh, I, I got to tell you, this new 29 gallon one's fantastic. I got a buddy who picked one of these things up. It, it's not all that loud. It's uh, and and the, and even at 75 dBA, it's a lower kind of thrum sound. It's not the high pitch one you get from the smaller compressors, so it doesn't hurt as much. Anyway, and you get one of these nice McGraw air tools with it there. All right, let's keep going. We got the Hercules, the Ultra Torque. Now, this is weird, okay? I'm going to tell you, hello weird, all right? Yeah, I, I did some time in California. It's not my fault. Anyway, uh, we get the Ultra Torque uh, tool only for $150 with the $40 off coupon, or you can get the regular high torque for $150, $30 off coupon. That, that's the same price, guys. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on there. Don't get me wrong. They're fantastic tools, That that especially that Ultra Torque. In fact, I have both of these. Literally, I have both of these, all right? This is a beast of a tool. You will not regret. This is a professional-grade tool, okay? Now, can a homeowner use it? Yes, with a permit. You got to talk to your local government, you know, ordinances and stuff. Maybe city council, get them to write you a permit so you can, as a homeowner, use professional grade tools. But you know, easier to get, you know, forgiveness than permission, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, that said, for the people in the back who don't get it, that was a joke. There'll be people already commenting down below. That's stupid. You don't need anyway. Some people, as a Foghorn Redhorn used to say, "You built too short, son. All the good ones go over your head." All right. Anyway, love the Hercules stuff. Uh, the only thing I say about professional versus prosumer and uh, is, are you going to get enough use out of it? You know, as I like to say, you can buy an F three fifty, but if you're only driving a mile to the grocery store to pick up, you know, a week's worth of groceries, kind of overkill. Mall crawlers, I'm talking to you. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Uh, we get uh, here's the Bauer. The, this is an absolute fantastic deal. A hundred dollars for a 1,000 foot pound high torque, uh, you know, DIY prosumer impact for the home gamer. This is just a brilliant tool. Uh, I can't say enough about it. I do have one, I don't have it here in, in the studio with me right now. 
But uh, if you're in the Bauer line, there's no reason to jump and you're just a home gamer, just doing, you know, basic stuff around the shop and whatnot. There's no reason that you should have to jump up to the Hercules or something better. This Bauer is just fantastic. All right, let's talk about the, uh, the rotary tool here. Uh, as I said, my son bought this years ago and uh, he left it at my shop and I've actually been using it a ton and it works great. Uh, it's not the most ergonomic tool. It's a little bulky and stuff, but for $15, it's got a ton of power in it. Uh, trust me, <laughs> I, I mounted one of the, uh, one of the bits in it. I was trying to reach something a little further than it was supposed to. And so I mounted it a little far out of the chuck than I should have. And, uh, it turned it into a deadly projectile, sent it across the, uh, the, the room and through the drywall. So if you don't think you can get hurt with a rotary tool, uh, wrong they just got to be stupid enough to pull stupid stunts so all right let's keep going here we got the bauer heat gun of course my favorite heat gun that harbor freight sells not as powerful as the hercules but more more powerful than most people are going to need it's got the flat back on it so you can set it on a table and work two hands which i love to do with it for 30 dollars that's a fantastic heat gun. Yes, you can get the basic Warrior for 20 bucks, even cheaper when it's on sale. The Hercules is 60 bucks. The Bauer cordless heat gun is $40. All right, again, I have this one. It's over here in the studio. Uh, I was using it to take off labels. I bought the, uh, the Yukon uh, nine drawer recently, uh, the all white one. You're gonna see it, it's pretty. Anyway, uh, I was iffy on these and I bought one. No, you're not going to be, you know, uh, you know, it's not a flamethrower. All right. But it heats up decently fast. Like I'm going to hold it here as long as I can. It's hot. It's slightly painful. All right. I'm done. Uh, it heats up decently fast. It's even got the little hook on it, a little rafter hook. Cause of course you're going to use it for rafter hook stuff. Uh, I don't know why, but anyway, I, I found it, I've actually been reaching for it quite often because a lot of the stuff I do is low power kind of stuff. And being able to do stuff like on this cabinet here, I was taking a sticker off, but I don't want to bubble the paint, right? So this is nice, it's a lower power, it doesn't heat up as fast, uh, it's easy to move around and stuff like that. It worked out pretty good. Next up, we got the Bauer eight amp, four and a half inch trigger grip angle grinder coming in 44% off down to $25. That is a beast of an angle grinder for $25. Uh, we've got, oh, I mean, I've talked about it. You saw my video on it. I love this thing. Nine amp surface conditioning uh, tool. Uh, they, there's tools like this out on the market. Uh, no one's coming close to this price. Uh, you get three drums with it. The drums on the other ones are usually interchangeable. So you can buy other uh, drums like the, was it Eastwood, I think it is. Uh, their drums do work on this. Uh, I will say this, the Restorer, who is the person, the company I think that invented this category, I think has a great tool. What I will say about the Restore is, and not to knock it at all, it seems, the form factor and everything else seems more appropriate for doing wood surfacing. Now you can do wood and metal with this one, but I would say that for doing metal, the Eastwood and the Harbor Freight would be uh, a better choice just because of the design of the tool and the fact that uh, at $99, it's pretty hard to beat. All right, next we got the Bauer 2300 PSI pressure washer at 1.2 gallons per minute. This thing, I love this pressure washer and mostly it's because of the ergonomics on this. You got huge wheels on this. You got a great solid wand, easy to control. You got all the different in, you know, bits in it to change the different types of pressure and the, the pattern that's coming out. You got the soap dispenser in it down here. Everything has a place for it. Everything in its place, nice and neat. Remember, pressure washers have a tendency to get a little bit crazy. Um, like the Portland one, it's it doesn't really have a place for everything, so everything just kind of gets wrapped around it, and then it falls over, and everything's kind of everywhere. This has got the soap dispenser built into it. It's got a spot to hold all the end bits. Uh, it, is it more money? It's $190. It's more than twice the price of the other one. But if you use a pressure washer a lot, if you you know that's just the way I should put it. If you're going to use it a ton, I would get this one. If it's going to be like a once twice a year kind of thing, get the Portland. All right for washing your car the portland's fine it does it does all the basic stuff fine this just does it all better in a more ergonomic package that's what you're paying for all right next up we got the hercules i gotta tell you man i've been looking at sliding miter saws and, and tracking the, you know the prices on these 
uh, for almost eight years now. And you're looking, and this thing just sitting at $300, just sitting there. Everyone else is over 500 bucks at this point. Uh, there's just, there's no one uh, that's coming close in, as far as a competition on this. Uh, with the drop shadow light, the build quality, the whole nine yards, no one else is coming close to the Hercules. I, I, it's just kind of the default choice. I don't know why anybody would buy anything else at this point. Uh, we got, and look at this, the Hercules planer. Oh my gosh. Th was it $330 with the coupon? Do you realize that's now cheaper than the Bauer? In fact, I almost included in deals of the week, I was looking for planers and I'm like, okay, well, the Craftsman's on sale for like $330. That's, that's a decent two blade. You're going to get a three blade for the same price. That it, as far as as far as I can tell, is made by the same people who make the Dewalt planer. I'm sorry, but I, I've I've looked at both. I've done taking measurements of both. There, this it looks like the same same company. It's it's a great planer. Harbor Freight did send it to me. You could say I'm biased or whatever. Try it for yourself. You got 90 days. Buy it. Keep it for 90 89 days. You don't believe it's that good? Then uh, take it back and flame me in the comments. But you know you're gonna keep it, right? <laughs> anyway. Uh, we got Jack's, oh my gosh, Pittsburgh three-ton floor jack, rapid pump, slate gray or red, your choice for $90. This is a good solid jack. I know I talk a lot about the Daytonas, but the really they both lift. They both lift three tons. What you're losing here is a little bit of, uh, of specs. It doesn't go as low as the Daytona. It doesn't go as high as the Daytona. I think the minimum uh, minimum height on it is just over five inches, and I think it goes up to almost 19 inches, but not quite. So I think it's in that kind of spectrum, which for your average car, small truck kind of stuff, totally fine. It's not going to lift less. It just has less in the way of features and not quite as maybe not quite as smooth. Well, probably it is anyway. Uh, but you know, yeah, I do have the Daytona and I love the Daytona. I'm not going to go back. This is the one I have. Wait, hold on. Let me fix it. This is the one I have. Uh, and at 190, that's a solid price. Three ton, long reach, low profile, professional floor jack, rapid pump. Now the difference is this is going down to like three and a half inches and up to, I think it's 24 and a half inches. So, and it's got the uh, the little quick jack, uh, the uh, right here, this little foot pedal on the back that helps get this up higher and, the, and it can't lift as much, but it gets it up, gets it into contact. And then you can start working on the, uh, on the handle there to get it up there in the air. Uh, I have, you know, I bought this because I have uh, a car that's pretty low and I have several large trucks as well as a four by four, you know, Ram 3500. I need to be able to get, you know, work on all of them with just one jack. And that's the reason I went with this one. The green doesn't look bad either. So, uh, and then we got, oh, you know, Daytona three ton. This is the super duty in plum crazy purple for the Mopar guys out there. I gotta tell you, I've seen this color in purple. Well, I would say I've seen it in person, but I think it's down in stores now. So you, anybody can go down there and see it. But here's what I'm going to say. I love the purple and it's a purple metallic flake. It's gorgeous. I still don't think it's as pretty as the metallic candy apple red. That is, oh my gosh, you want to take a bite out of it. It'll chip a tooth, but you want to. It is a gorgeous color. If you're going to get the super duty, that would be the way to go. Now, a lot of people are like, well, you just said it's, it's a three ton, just like the other ones. What's it going to get me? All right, well, it lifts higher and, and goes lower than the uh, than the Pittsburgh. Not as wide a range as the last one I showed you, the low profile long range. That one's got the longest range. But that said, it does come with something a little special. Let me see if I can find it here. Uh, where'd it go? Uh, anyway, where's the thing on the, oh, here it is down here. Warranty, I can find it. This comes with a three, look at three year warranty. All right, built in, three year warranty. I know a ton of tire shops who buy this thing and then every three years, they just load up the truck, bring them all, bring in all their jacks, drop them off and get new ones. <laughs> anyway, uh, and then we got the Daytona two ton professional racing series for all you kids. Now, I just gotta say this, you know what? I know you, you kids like to do your street takeovers and race your jacks and stuff. I don't get the whole racing jack scene. Just, you know what? It, it it's a lot of people getting hurt doing those street takeovers with these jacks. You got to be careful, man. Anyway, 
<laughs> two ton uh, rapid pump with a super low profile. It gets down in there for $180. Then we got the uh, Jack Sands, the three tons coming in with all your chiclet style colors for $20, uh, $28. And we got the six ton coming in for $60 there. All right, let's jump over and do some welding. We got the Titanium Unlimited 140 Pro Professional Multi-Process Welder with the 120 input on it, $200 off, coming in at $400. Uh, and then we've got, look at this, the big boy. So you're coming from, from this one at 400 to this one at 700 what you're getting is now you're jump, jumping up to the 200 professional multi-process welder and it has dual input 120 or 240 if you need that real deep penetration <laughs> that's what she said uh you're coming in at uh at 700 on that one and you're going to use the 240 for that i know i'm i'm a bad man i can't help myself anyway let's talk about uh generators real quick I recently had a gentleman who reached out to me who's had an issue with this generator. Now, I, as I said, I've been doing this for a while and I get a feedback from just a metric ton of people. This is the first guy that I've had who's come back and said, I've had continuing issues with this generator. And 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 I wanna be honest, I wanna put this out there because it, no one's been telling me about this. If this is a systemic issue, Harbor Freight needs to hear about it. I would like to know about it. If you have this generator or had this generator and you had specific issues with it, put it down in the comments. If you don't like to comment, email me, red at denatools.com. Now, I'm trying to work with him. I, I owe him another email. He emailed, I, I can talk, emailed me back the other day uh, and I haven't gotten back to him yet and I apologize. But that said, we want to figure out what's going on here. Uh, he's gone through four of them, I think, at this point, or he's on his fourth one. Uh, first, I've heard of a systemic issue with these, so let's try and figure it out if there is one, all right? And if, but for everyone else, $500. <laughs> all right, next up, we've got the tried and true 3500. Again, uh, Harbor Freight gave me one of these. I turned around and gave it to a buddy of mine who is a full-time RVer. This is the life support. He full-time RVs mostly in the Southwest and the South. So we, we're talking about from Arizona, Nevada area, uh, up through, he comes up this way every so often, all the way up to Montana, and then all the way down around in the South, all the way over to Alabama, uh, roll tide as it were. So $650, this thing is, he loves it. It's solid as a rock. I see him everywhere in the RV parks. I know a ton of people who use this. This is a tried and true, super quiet, uh, inverter generator with the CO secure technology. So you're not going to hurt anybody with it. $650 is some real rollback kind of pricing on this thing. Then of course it's been upgraded though with the new 5,000 super quiet remote start dual fuel for $900. This is an absolutely just jam packed full of features kind of generator even comes with like, look at this even comes with the luggage style, uh, you know, handle for, uh, pulling this thing around, you got the remote start. And I, I, got, I used to think remote start was silly when it comes to generators. It, it's still kind of silly, but it's, it's hella nice, isn't it? I know that's two hellas in one show. I'm, I'm going to hella after this. I can't help myself. All right, and this is one, the one that my family has at home. If you saw the video we did on, on several years ago, uh, we exchanged the 9,000 open frame for the 9,500 fully enclosed, and I would not look back. And I think that that was, I think, honestly, I think this is the same price. This, at $1,800, again, talk about some rollback to not piss off Walmart, uh, rollback kind of pricing. Uh, that is a ridiculous price on a generator like this. And the only thing I can think of is I think they're going to be, I think they're doing this to clear them out because this is not the first time we've seen some serious discounts on this generator. It's a hot selling item. They don't need to do this. So I think what has to be going on is I think there's going to be a dual future, dual fuel version in the future of this. Fingers crossed on that. Then I'll, I'll have to have to sell this one and get that one. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, we love, this is what we use as our home backup generator. And uh, I can't say enough about it. All right, anyway, uh, spring is in the air. Time to get some crops in the ground. Uh, we got the Predator 9-inch 43cc two-stroke gas cultivator here. It's only 20 bucks off, but it is a great little cultivator. Uh, and with that Predator motor on it, it's solid as a rock, $200. That's a decent price. 
We got the post hole earth auger kind of thing here coming in for $190. That one's $30 off. And then let's talk tool caps. We got the US General 42 inch in uh, slate gray plus all the other colors you would want. My gosh, what are they up to? Eight now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. And yes, people have asked me, is purple going to happen? And I, I asked some of my contacts, and what I heard was, we'll see. It's the best I can do for you. All right. I don't make the news, I just report it. Uh, anyway, absolutely love these cabinets. Of course, I've got the 72 inch with the hutch. A lot of people are like, well, why wouldn't you buy this? Why wouldn't you, why would you buy like two of these for so much less? And then you're looking at, you know, 84 inches. And, it, and brother, if that's the way you want to do it, then do it. But you're not going to be putting a hutch on it. All right. That, and if that's what you're looking for. Also, the build quality on the 72 is just in a whole nother league. You see the casters and the stuff on it. But that's not to say the 42 for, especially for a home gamer or a small shop or looking for an add-on accessory kind of box. It's a great box for $530. Uh, and then we get the 52 in coming at $800. That's a solid price on that one. Uh, but uh, interesting when we look at the colors because, oh, well, now they're going to load. They weren't loaded before. All right. Something going on with the website. Anyway, uh, same price on all those. I thought maybe they were out of stock. <laughs> I know people have been talking about ship times on, uh, on the U.S. General. It, that's what happens when everybody wants it. You know, it's a ridiculously popular box. Everyone and the brothers ordering one. I was at Harbor Freight picking up mine, and there were at least two other people there picking up uh, the U.S. General. So, oh, as far as ship time on mine, I think order time was three weeks on mine. It was, you know, getting in white. They're just, you understand, these stores aren't big enough to hold every single box they have in every single color they have. If they did, it would just be the toolbox store, which maybe not a bad idea. Anyway. We got Pittsburgh Wobble Extension Set here, 33% off, coming in for $10. We got the Franklin Ladder. I have this ladder. I have this and the Little Giant. Honestly, they're interchangeable. This is actually the one I keep here at the shop. It's $95. Uh, we got a Yukon 5-tier shelf here. Nice little cheap plastic storage. Not Nothing fancy about it, but you know, get stuff up off the ground, uh, neaten up the garage or the shop or whatnot for $45. It is 36 by 18 by 72. We got, this is ridiculous. 34% off on a Braun shop light, linkable shop light, $15. No, that is insane price on that one. Uh, of course, we have the Braun slim light there, $18. That's a, been the, 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 it's the old price that's now apparently the new price. You gotta love that. Uh, the Bunker Hill ammo box, I use these things for a ton of stuff. 30 or three, $33 on that one. And the Voyager bag, you've all heard me rave about these bags. Great multi-use bags. They're, you know what? You can use them for tools too. I use them for everything but, but for tools. I actually, my primary use is I use them for uh, carrying all my uh, my towing gear in them uh, for $4 there on that one. And then we get the Merlin air hose here for $70. I have this one. It's a solid air hose. It's great. Then we got the Hardy 5 mil nitrile powder uh, powder free gloves, 100 pack medium in light blue for $5. Of course, that's the old one, uh, the old sale price. Nice, decent, glad to see it back at that sale price. Small, medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large there. And then we've got, check this out, in the Day Glow Green, same thing, but now but only available in large and extra large. I guess I can't get any, but maybe you could try them out. Let me know if they're as green as, as they say they are. All right, and of course, I love this uh, the the parts bin here for five well six dollars there. Call it what it is. That is a, a great little uh, storage tool. You you can get a ton of those. People use these for all sorts of things. All right, now let's talk about Inside Track. You're an Inside Track Club member, right? Right. If you shop at Harbor Freight any like on any kind of regular basis, you want to be an Inside Track member because first of all, you don't need a coupon. If you grab it and it's in on sale Inside Track, you just get the price. All right, and especially if you're buying any of the large items that are inside track, it usually pays for itself, if not more, in just one purchase. Remember, I don't get a commission on this. I've never been paid by Harbor Freight. They have sent me free tools in the past. So have a lot of people, okay? So I just like what they do. And, you know, people are saying, well, I won't pay for discounts. Well, you know, then don't go to Costco or Sam's or any of those other kind of places where you pay for membership, all right? It's a pretty common thing in business and has been for a long time. So I don't know why people act like this is something new. 
All right, let's keep going here though. So inside track, we got, look at this, the Bauer four inch belt sander. A lot of people have this sander. They're all pretty much identical, but this is $90. No one else is coming in at $90 on this. Then we got the Hercules grease gun here coming in at 40 bucks off. Was that $90 on that one also? Uh, we got the Vulcan welder, the 215 MIG Max uh, coming in 120 or 240 dual input. Uh, it's $120 off of nine, nine, it was a nine, 900, so that's an 880. Uh, we got the Bauer. Uh, this is a great tool. This is a good, you should have this in your shop kind of tool. So you got a low speed uh, spade handle drill or mixer here. A lot of great uses with something like that. 30% off. Again, if you didn't notice, I try to, like anything that's like, 15% off or 10% off, You unless it's something that's normally on the restricted list, we don't include in this because we always try to bring you the best deals, the good deals, the stuff you really want to consider. So that's why we try to save it for you know stuff like that. Uh, and then we get the Hercules, like here's one, 10% off, but almost never goes on sale, all right? You can't use any of the percentage off coupons for Hercules stuff. So here you're getting this for $90. This is a good solid workhorse kind of saw. All right, we got the Bauer 12 inch variable speed drill press here, uh, $300, 50% off. Fi variable, wait, wait, hold up. Oh, not 50% off, $50 off. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, maybe getting a little excited, maybe still not completely recovered. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, still 250 on a variable speed 12 inch is a decent price on that drill press. All right, we got the Bauer wet dry vac. This is the one that I used to have until my wife stole it. So now it lives at the house. So I had to go out and buy myself my DeWalt Stealth Sonic that I love. But still, I mean, what are you looking at? $80, 20% 20 off or 25% off. Uh, so what's that, $60 on? Is I doing them? I don't care. Anyway, you can do it. You can, all right, you could step up and do it. Anyway, uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic wet dry vac. It really is. Uh, we got the, again, we got another one of those darn racing jacks here, 2.5 ton, low profile aluminum. And a lot of people are like, well, why would I buy aluminum? Why wouldn't I buy steel? They're going to do the same thing. They just use more aluminum and it's more structural and that kind of stuff. And they, they've just been smarter about the setup with it, uh, which is why they usually cost a bit more per pound. You're looking at 220, but 40% off, or I did it again, $40 off, but it's going to take it down to a more reasonable amount. Uh, anyway, they're still rated for 2.5 tons. They're going to handle 2.5 tons easy. They're just easier to move around. They don't weigh nearly as much. All right, then we got the Daytona Creeper there because Creepers be creeping in Creeper Green, no less. We're looking at 350 pounds in store only, of course. $85, 29% off, at least the percentage on that one. Oh my gosh. All right, and I thought, didn't we just talk about this? The U.S. General one uh, down to 350. Uh, we got the end cabinet also here. It's $400. I get it. I get it. A lot of people are complaining like they couldn't wait for the new cabinet. That came out, it was $400. Well, this is going to take it down to $300. Not as cheap as before, but way better. And it's a super nice cabinet because this one's a real upgrade over the old cabinet, all right? The old cabinet was super small, really confined. This is a, a better cabinet and uh, it's more... It's more akin to the Icon cabinet, which is a real nice cabinet, uh, than it is closer to the old kind of U.S. general kind of stuff. So it's a solid cabinet, but whether it's worth 300 to you, let me know what you think down below. All right, and then we got another stand here, a shelf. This one's 23 by 12 by 52, coming in at $35. And last item we got for the day is the Apache 4800. I absolutely love these cases. I've got a couple of them. They've got all these colors now. They've got black and green and orange and desert tan and, and yellow. Uh, just lots of great stuff there. Bang for the buck wise, nobody comes close. 25% off of that. If you think I missed any deals or there's any hot deals there you're looking for, put it down in the comments. I'll see if we can dig them up, see what's out there. Anyway, while you're down there, don't forget to chomp the old like button, smash subscribe, ring the bell on your way up. You all take care, God bless, and as always, shine on.